Now to the pregame show. I want to see Sports Network. Fired up. 17th ball, baby. I like that. Got it, boy. CBS Sports, your home for the NFL and Thursday night football, SEC football, and the Masters. The PGA Championship and PGA Tour, March Madness, and the CBS Sports family of networks. And your home for Super Bowl 50, CBS Sports. Expect it here. USBC Hall of Famer Liz Johnson has had a spectacular 2015, starting with her second USBC Queens victory in Green Bay. And just last week, she won her fourth U.S. Open title. The first ever Triple Crown is now within reach at the Smithfield PWBA Tour Championship next. Bowling Training and Research Center in Arlington, Texas. Today, CBS Sports Network presents the Smithfield PWBA Tour Championship. Four of the world's best female bowlers compete for the title and big prize money. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Arlington and the Team USA Training and Research Center. This is Dave Ryan. I'll be joined by USBC Hall of Famer Carolyn Dord Ballard in a moment. We have so much at stake today and four great bowlers, the best in the world, competing for big prize money. We'll check our semifinal brackets and see that the top seed, Liz Johnson, from Cheektowaga, New York, just outside Buffalo, will look for yet another victory. She has won her fourth U.S. Open. That was last week in New Jersey. Takes on Danielle McEwen, who has extensive Team USA experience. In the other semifinal, a second seed Stephanie Johnson from nearby Grand Prairie, Texas, here in the Metroplex. The Tour Rookie of the Year takes on Kelly Kulik of Union, New Jersey, has won six major titles in her great career. Carolyn, there is so much on the line today. Player of the Year between the two Johnson, Stephanie as Liz, a major championship as well, big prize money, everything here today in Dallas. You could not ask for a better finish to this first PWBA season. Liz, as we all know, is no stranger to throwing it for that major championship by her wins this year alone with the Queens in the U.S. Open. But then again, we have Stephanie Johnson, who set her goals realistic, she said, wins Rookie of the Year and has a chance to be Player of the Year, too. That doesn't happen every year. Spectacular one-pin victory for Liz Johnson last week to win her fourth U.S. Open in New Jersey. And like last week, Carolyn, in Jersey, we have established stars. We have the future as well. Absolutely. This, this match is going to be great. You have your veteran, Kelly Kulik, who, again, no stranger to throwing it for that major championship. And honestly, she's a great mentor. And being spokesperson, she really is teaching these younger players what it's all about to be a champion. But then there's Danielle McEwen, who is the future of what professional women's bowling is all about. But here's the key. They have bowled on Team USA together. They have bowled internationally together. So they are friends. But on the lanes, it's all about business. And Danielle is really hungry for that first victory. And we're pleased again to be joined by your sister, Kathy Doran Lizzie. She's joined live now by Liz Johnson, our top seed. Liz, with three titles under your belt already this year, with a win tonight, you will have captured the Triple Crown. With all that you've accomplished in your career, did you ever think this was possible? No, not at all. I mean, 2015 has just been a dream come true year, and but now I'm just looking forward to uh, throwing 10 great shots. That's all I can do right now. And physically, you're feeling good? Physically, I feel pretty good. Congratulations. Good luck. Kathy, Liz, thanks. We can't wait to watch our first match today from Arlington. McEwen Johnson, what a matchup. The future and the established superstar go head to head when we return. It's the only pure all-star event in Pro Rodeo, featuring the sport's biggest stars, highest scores, and fastest times. This is as American as it gets. The PRCA Champions Challenge, today at 4.30 on CBS Sports Network. For competitors of all ages, bowling is for life. And USBC is with you every step of the way. USBC and you, 
a future for the sport. I've won over $29,000 on FanDuel. Nothing special about me. The difference is, is that I played and, and they didn't. Over 1.1 million people have won money playing one week fantasy football on FanDuel. If you think it can't be you, it can be you. Choose a league, pick your team, and win. Leagues start from $1 and there's no season long commitment. Every week I can beat my buddies on FanDuel. Every single week I can win money on FanDuel. Try FanDuel today. We'll match your first deposit up to 200 bucks. Go to FanDuel.com and enter promo code CHEER3. Hello! Not getting enough oomph out of your energy drink? Then try an extra strength five hour energy shot. It's beefed up blend of vitamins, nutrients, and caffeine make it the very definition of extra strength. Plus, every great flavor has zero sugar and four calories. So, for an energy shot that really pulls its own weight, switch to extra strength five hour energy. Oh, could you go left up here? I need to pick up my dry cleaning. Verizon now has one simple plan. Just pick a size, small, medium, large, and extra large. If you need less data, pick small. If you need more, go with extra large. A whopping 12 gigs for $80 a month plus $20 per phone. Pick a size, change it up anytime. It's the simple way to get the best network. And now, get up to $400 when you switch, only at Verizon. Christy, you got your auto insurance from The General, too. I needed full coverage for my new car, and they saved me money. Did you know The General now has renter's insurance? I didn't know that. Yeah, let's take a break and talk about it. At The General, you can get an anonymous online auto insurance quote with low payments, choice of due date, and check out our renter's insurance. For a great low rate you can get online, go to The General and save some time. They're going to try a field goal? 57 yards. Davis. Davis goes left. Touchdown. Auburn. An answered prayer. The Smithfield PWBA Tour Championship promoted by GoBowling.com on CBS Sports Network is brought to you by Smithfield Foods. Go to SmithfieldFoods.com for more information. By the United States Bowling Congress creating competitive opportunities at all levels as we build a future for the sport. Visit bowl.com for more. And by BPAA, the Bowling Proprietors Association of America. Bowling.com road to finals. Johnson McEwen, Stephanie Johnson, and Kelly Kulik for huge names in women's bowling. Going ahead to head today, Kathy is joined now by Danielle McEwen. Danielle, it was your first year on tour. This is your fourth TV show. You're still looking for your first win. But what have you learned from this experience? I learned so much throughout this whole year. Um, this is the first time that I've ever bowled 10 weekends in a row, even including college bowling and everything. So it took a lot to figure out how to keep my game sharp in the little downtime that we had and even mentally to come back into the next weekend fully ready to go was a big learning experience throughout the year but well worth it yes definitely good luck tonight thank you thanks guys danielle a lot of experience here at the team usa training center in arlington time out for our future for the sport lane pattern. Carolyn, what do you see here? Look at this pattern, 37 feet. I believe it was 28 milliliters, which is a lot of volume. But look at this pattern, how flat it played, which allowed the girls to have a few different angles. But here was the key. Each pair played differently. Five and six, which we are not using, forced them a little bit further left because of topography of the lane, which is about right here, OK? And seven and eight, the lanes they're on, they are on now, played way further to the right and did not break down as dramatically as five and six. So it's going to be interesting to see if they stay in that part of the lane. Both made the show. Of course, Liz won last week in New Jersey at the U.S. Open on a 39-foot, very challenging pattern. Scores were very low. We expect more strikes today and higher scores. I was very glad to see that we were bowling on 7-8 because I think 5 and 6 did break down and became a little tougher. 7 and 8 definitely was more high scoring. Liz Johnson gets us going. Four pin stands for Liz. Trying to wrap up a spectacular season. And the return of the PWBA Tour. 
Triple crown possibilities. Just outside Buffalo, and November 4th, she just told us she'll be inducted into the Buffalo Sports Hall of Fame. Such a big deal. Congrats, Liz, for that. Great shot by Liz for Penn. And you know, I don't, by all means, I'm not picking someone who's going to win or who's a favorite because they, all players play the lanes the correct way, and that's why they're on the TV show. But when you do play further to the right, you can't ever count Liz Johnson out. Here's the youngster, Danielle McEwen. High flush, perfect strike. 10 down to the pit in a 1-3 pocket for Danielle, the five seed from just outside West Point, Stony Point. This is a great first shot by Danielle. She's going, crossing eight at the arrows, getting it out to about five down the lane, and that's basically where this pair played throughout the matches. And she's using the same ball she used. She's using a menace, stronger ball, little less surface so that it clears that front part of the lane easily but still gives her the back end reaction smooth that she's looking for four years team usa and a former star at fairly dickinson in new jersey two great shots already better striking than we had last week on that challenging pattern in north brunswick at the u.s open these are the two girls you probably would like to see on the fresh pattern. Uh, it has, you know, it has not carried down as much yet. It's still pretty fresh, and and between Liz and Danielle, they will break down the pattern properly. Push. Avoid a split. The nine. Stand, single pin conversion coming up. Pretty good shot. Now this is a good shot to look at because Liz missed a little bit left. She's playing the lanes identical to Danielle, maybe two boards to the right, but here she goes a little more right to left. Ball comes up a little high. She gets the break on the nine pin, but the key factor here is Liz will probably not move on the approach or the lane. She'll increase her ball speed to keep her angle straighter. Liz, of course, part of bowling history, PBA Tour. She became the first woman bowler to win a match on a PBA telecast. Defeating Wes Millot, 05, 10 years ago, outside Grand Rapids, Michigan. I had the call with Randy Peterson on that broadcast. It was incredible to be a part of bowling history to watch Liz knock off the big Texan, Wes Millot, on a show. And of course, she's followed that up with her amazing success. Oh. On the women's team. Right. And women's events, and there's a strike for Liz Johnson in the third. You can hear Liz yell hook, a little more direct. Ball comes in half pocket, but gets a little help there, knocking out the 10. Back to Danielle, two-time NCAA Bowler of the Year at Fairleigh Dickinson, and all 10 down for her. Perfect shot for McEwen, who's got a great look on both lanes. Danielle is so fundamentally sound. Right here, four-step approach, gets that ball into the swing so smooth. Little bit of a higher backswing right here. See how high up, but look at her position, and look at this right here. That right there is picture perfect. Anybody who's looking to learn how to bowl with a four-step approach, Danielle McCune is the one to watch. And the key to her success today will be that smooth push, getting that ball down smooth, going through the process, and just keeping it focused on one thought. Four pin. Still a good shot. Another good shot by Danielle. Ball just coming up a little bit higher. You can see it picked up just a little bit sooner than it did on the last three shots. But she gets a break with the four pin, and you're going to see that today with this angle. You're going to see probably a lot of four pins, a lot of ring tens, if the lanes stay conducive to what they are now. There's the four. There's the mark looking for the front four for McEwen, who seems more comfortable at ease already in this match than she did last week in New Jersey. She was only about 70 miles from home. A lot of family and friends were there. Just mom, who saw them having breakfast today in the hotel lobby, is here with her today. She feels more comfortable.
Liz to cut the lead in half. What? Wow, powerful shot. And all 10 down for Liz Johnson. Another great shot to watch by Liz Johnson. Remember I said Liz will not move on the lane, but as you can see, this one was a little bit more in front of her and direct, which is what Liz likes to do. Ball gets down the lane, just that one, two feet longer down the lane, high flush. Liz will use, Liz will use her ball speed to her advantage. One of the Johnsons will win the player of the year, either Stephanie or Liz today. So we've got a lot on the line. Go right at it. Not the hit she wanted, and the 6'10 stand for Liz Johnson. You could hear it when she let it go. Again, this is like that other shot that was on the right lane. She misses going right to left just a little bit too much. Ball hooks up a little sooner. On this pattern, you will not have built-in hold. You will have to create that by your angle or by your ball speed. Liz will choose ball speed over angle. 6'10 covers. Liz told us before the match, so impressed with Danielle McEwen, the youngster and former collegiate star at FTU. And Liz said, look, I've got to step up my game, continue to work hard. I can't rest on my laurels. I'm 41. I don't want these youngsters to catch me yet. I've got a lot of great bowling ahead. Yeah, God forbid she's 41. <laughs> but Danielle, one of the things you talked about how she looks, she is more comfortable and confident. She's had a few weeks to really process what she's gone through, and she is ready. Continues great shot making. Another strike. Four out of five frames she has struck. Host Adam Schein brings you his unmatched enthusiasm to a whole new level on his nightly show full of strong opinions and high energy. Time to shine Tuesday through Friday at 6 Eastern right here on CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. Saw Adam this morning on tops that of the pregame show leading up to Week one of the NFL. He's fun to watch. Well, we just found out that Danielle is using the same type of ball, but she's actually using two different drillings. So she's throwing one ball drilled one way on one lane and another ball drilled another way on the other lane, which is very interesting because she, I don't think she did that all weekend. But that just goes to show the experience that she's really paying attention to what she needs to do. Kat, thanks, and what an unbelievable start here for Danielle McEwen. Looking for first PWBA Tour title, first major strikes again in the sixth. It's a battle with a legend, Liz Johnson. It's the personification of pride and passion. It's such an exciting time of the year. If you're not all in, if you just want to put your toes in the water, you've got no chance. We're bringing you more of the game you love with Inside College Football. If they don't get it done this year, you won't be in big trouble. Tuesday at 9, only on CBS Sports Network. <clears throat> we live in a pick and choose world. Hi. Choose, Hello. choose, choose. Ah. But at bedtime, why settle for this? Enter Sleep Number. Right now, all beds are on sale. Sleep IQ technology tells you how well you slept and what adjustments you can make. You like the bed soft. He's more hardcore. So your sleep goes from good to great to wow. Only at a Sleep Number store. Don't miss the final days of the biggest sale of the year with the C2 Queen mattress, just $599.99. And Sunday. No better sleep with Sleep Number. We were there for the first. We'll be there for the 50th. CBS is the host. Super Bowl 50. They said a bottle was just a bottle. That no one would ever notice me. But I knew I could be more. That one day, I would make people smile.
Can I go to the sleepover? Lucy, I want you to promise me something. If there's any drinking, I want you to say, no thanks, not my thing. Mom! I promise you, your real friends won't care. Deal? I promise, Mom. They really do hear you. Did you pack your toothbrush? For tips on how to start the talk, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. A public service message from the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration. Our four great bowlers competing for the Smithfield PWBA Tour Championship Trophy. Great to see Chad Murphy, USBC Executive Director, here this week in Arlington. At the National Training Center for the USBC. Hall of Famer Liz Johnson works on a spare sixth frame and it's going to be a big hill to climb against the youngster McEwen, who's got a great look. Pretty good response for Liz when she needed it most. Great shot by Liz, and, and one of the key factors here is, remember we talked about it last week, Dave, coming out of the commercial break, one of the hardest shots to throw because a lot of times you get a little bit slow, you're contemplating your thoughts. Perfect example of Liz with the experience, comes out, throws it, Hard, keeps it direct, great result. She had never made the Queens and US Open show in the same year, much less won them both. Looking for another major here to wrap up the return of the PWBA. What a season for Liz. Didn't like that, but got a break on a light hit. And a strike for Liz Johnson. Very unlike Liz Johnson, but you can see right at the foul line, she lost it off her hand. Ball goes way right outside of where that target is. I mean, she got the break. It, it barely hit the head pin and rolls the rolls the two pin. Great break to turn that into a double. McEwen to go up 22. Looks for the turkey. That looks off the mark, but hurries back as her adjustment. On that lane, gets into the 1-3 pocket for another strike. This is another great example of how this, this pair played. The right lane is a little bit tighter, but because she's using a stronger drill and a strong ball, here, here is where they're trying to keep it. This is way right of the target, but that ball, because she's smooth, lets that ball roll, and look at a tickle of the head pen, and she gets the light mixer. That was perfect. That right there shows you. That's when, what people used to say, right ball, right area, don't move. Well, 32, the look continues. Strike fest here. For Danielle McEwen, who struggled with just three strikes in her match with Jazreel Tan last week and lost 172-165. What a difference we're seeing on the pattern here today in Arlington. And this, again, was the better pair in match play because the girls did break it down from right and then chased it just a little left, which allowed the scores to be a little higher. Liz can make no mistake from here on in. Strikes there, down 22 pins as we head to the foundation frame. GoBowling.com, your nonstop portal to find local bowling centers, get tips for the pros, and for all the latest news and information about your favorite sport bowling, visit GoBowling.com for more. This is battle of sore left knee for several weeks. Going to get treatment, see a specialist when she gets back to Buffalo next week. Wow. Forgetting about that now. Chasing history. Had to hurry, leaves the double wood. 2-8. Came in light again. Popped up a little bit with that. You could see she falls off to the right. Not one of her best, best shots, and, and she knows it, because you can tell by Liz's body language. Got it a little bit right. Left the 2-8, makeable spare. Does cover, does convert for the mark. But she needs strikes at this point. McEwen has been red hot 
the five seed. See her road throughout match play. Best out of five matches. Current Koken and Shannon O'Keefe, finalists last week, was the top seed at the U.S. Open in New Jersey. Settled for runner-up honors to Liz Johnson. Still has the look. Another strike. This lane is very forgiving. Ball actually makes it up, I say makes it up the hump. She gets this one out to about three. But still, because she's so smooth at the point of release and she's got that. Danielle, the funny thing about all the players, they all have that different axis rotation off their hand and she's so clean that that ball reads the lane and is able to make it up to the head pin. Five bagger for Danielle. That's all she needs to shut out Liz on the bench and advance to the championship match. Six will do it. How about all 10 down? Half a dozen in a row. Six bagger. And Liz Johnson is helpless and defeated by the youngster Danielle McEwen, only 24 years old, bidding for a first career title. She'll play in the championship match here today in Arlington. You and, and I, I saw it early, just speaking with Danielle in pre-match, Carolyn. I, I was going to say. She had that look. Yep. It's, uh, you know what I was going to say? Eye of the Tiger. Yeah. I mean, she doesn't know what that is, probably. <laughs> you and I do, though. I know that show. Uh, but as, as much as Liz is, I'm, you know, I'm sure very upset with herself, you know, because I know how Liz is, she has had an absolutely phenomenal year. This already is the highest game of the week for any bowler. We got 16 of the world's best starting off this tour championship. In there for McEwen. Oh, wow. Thanks. And Danielle will advance to the championship match. Stephanie Johnson, Kelly Kulik await in the other semifinal today. <sighs> Ten pin there for Liz, finishing out a tremendous season. One I think we'll all remember in women's bowling. Absolutely. I mean, she's just a phenomenal champion. She's a great representative for this sport. And you know, it, it is, you touched on one of the things too, is she's gonna be 41 years old. Great example of if you keep yourself in shape and keep up with the, you know, how the game changes, you can compete for years. Daniel McEwen to the championship match, trying to make history today at Arlington. Liz Johnson was hoping for that triple crown. Won't happen in 2015 for Liz, but a year to remember for women's bowling and for Liz Johnson. About to be inducted to the Buffalo Sports Hall of Fame. At DraftKings, we play for glory and for this, the giant check. The giant check is no myth. It's our trophy and many hoisted playing our one week games like Dave Gomes and Adam Goulet. Are your dreams big enough to cash a giant check? Play DraftKings.com Week 1 Millionaire Maker, the biggest fantasy sports contest of all time. 10 million in total prizes week one. Play free one week fantasy football for your shot at the two million top prize. Get to DraftKings.com now and play free with promo code UNLOCK. Welcome to the big time. You can do quite a lot of things with books and CDs. But to actually learn a language, you can do better with Babbel. Learning a language with Babbel is intuitive. It's interactive. It's customized to your pace. Download the app or go to Babbel.com right now and start learning today. Learning languages? Babbel. Hi, Tommy from Tommy Copper. Back in 2010, I had a very serious water skiing accident. My body was really broken up, but my knee took the hit. At the same time, I started identifying the well-known benefits of compression. It became simple. Design the most comfortable compression products available. I came up with a couple of prototypes, and I was pretty amazed. So I had a few more made up, and I passed them out to my friends and family. I was overwhelmed by the response. From there, the company was born. It started with a single knee sleeve. Three years later, we have over 300 products. We are always focused on the original thought, comfortable compression. Life, it's about performance and recovery. 
and helping everyone feel better and live a more positive life. Go online to TommyCopper.com. See how we can help you as we have helped countless others. It's time to become part of the Tommy Copper family. Where did you find this place? Online. You know, lowest cost, highest rated. I wish finding our new loan could be that easy. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's hand. Just go to LendingTree.com, shop free loan offers in minutes. So what kind of loans? He's kind of cute. I know. Well, you've got a mortgage loans, personal loans, auto loans, even credit cards. This place really does have everything. Yes, it does. Uh... At LendingTree, shop and compare loan offers from top lenders, and in just five minutes, you can save thousands. LendingTree, the place to shop for money. Ten total strikes for the youngster, Daniel McEwen, in the semifinal match with top seeded Liz Johnson, who will fall short trying for that triple crown. Thanks to an industry-wide initiative, the PWBA is back, giving women a place to do what they love, bowl competitively. When the, when the tour first folded, my mother was very uh, optimistic about it coming back. She was very optimistic about it coming back. So she's like, stay sharp. Maybe in a year, another sponsor will bring it back and, and you'll be able to bowl again. It was really crushing when you know you get out of college and you're like, that's it. I was in high school when it folded um, and I always watched it. Um, I still would watch reruns on YouTube and stuff. Um, you know, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna go to college and then I'm gonna go on tour and that was my plan. Since I was a very little girl, if you asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up, my answer was always, I wanted to be a professional bowler. I guess I've been kind of molded to do this all my life. As a young kid, it's all I ever wanted to do. I think what held me through is just my passion for bowling. I, I don't want to ever stop doing it, whether I'm just bowling in local tournaments or, you know, if I just bowl in the league. And there's so much talent in women's bowling, and to have the opportunity to show that to the rest of the world, the country and the world, is you know, a great opportunity and I'm very excited about. Having this opportunity to bowl these tournaments gives the rest of the people coming out of college something to look forward to and hopefully it'll bring back all those competitive bowlers that we kind of lost for the last few years. I think this coming back will give every young athlete a chance to, to do what they always love. My father always says you have to do what you love. If you do what you love, it's not considered work. So the fact that I'm doing this means I'm not working. I, I get to live the lifestyle I want doing what I love, and, and that's stepping on the lane and, and rolling a bowling ball down it. Kelly, this is your sixth TV show, and yet surprising to me and probably everybody, you have not won an event yet. So on the tough conditions, which we know they have been, how have you been able to keep yourself motivated? Well, to me, making six shows is truly a success story. Um, I've made a variety of patterns, short, medium, and long. That tells me I'm capable of winning mm -hmm. on any pattern I bowl on. So that's building up my confidence. I, I, I have to look what I've done well. It's been a great season, a lot of struggles along the way, but maybe this is going to be the time I cap it off with a win. And what do you think about the ladies tour coming back after 10, 11 years? Huge success. I mean, the amount of young talent coming up and the future stars of tomorrow for the sport, it's been fantastic, selling out every week. We are so excited for the future. Nice to be back home, isn't it? It is. It's wonderful. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Kathy Kelly, thanks. Great message there from Kelly Kulik. And what a matchup on the way. Superstar Kelly Kulik takes on PWBA Tour Rookie of the Year, Stephanie Johnson, who also is thinking about Player of the Year honors. So much on the line on my feet all day gave me pain here. In my knees. But now I step on this machine and get my number, which matches my Dr. Scholl's custom fit orthotic inserts. Now I get immediate relief from my foot pain. My knee pain. Find a machine at drscholls.com. Lay the foundations with the help of the gods of a powerful empire. Plan your strategy, forge alliances, and fight in epic battles, and become ruler of Grepolis. Play now for free at grepolis.tv or download the app. Just add your videos. Create your stunning website today. It's easy and free. Go to Wix.com. And when you bundle your home and auto insurance through Progressive, you'll save a bundle. Huh. Jamie, 
Right. Make a bad bundle joke. A buck goes in the jar. I guess that's just how the cookie bundles. Now you're going to have two bundles of joy. I'm not pregnant. I'm going to go. There you go. Bundle be coming. It was worth it. Saving you a bundle when you bundle. Now that's progressive. After 10 years of providing top-notch customer service and quality products, we're still rated number one by the Wall Street Journal for do-it-yourself paint chip repairs. Our signature dab, smear, and blend process allows you to make professional permanent repairs on your car. And now our squirt and squeegee method makes it even easier to fix the most heavily chipped vehicles. Simply squirt a little paint on the panel, squeegee it smooth over the chips, then blend as usual. Go to drcolorchip.com. That's drcolorchip.com. How do you breakfast? I barely have time for coffee. Chocolate donut? Now there's a better way. The Hamilton Beach Breakfast Sandwich Maker. Choose your bread, add toppings, and an egg. In just five minutes, breakfast is ready. That's easy. That's quick. That's delicious. Now double your delicious with the Dual Breakfast Sandwich Maker. Go to HamiltonBeach.com for a limited time $5 rebate when you buy any breakfast sandwich maker in store or online. Hamilton Beach, good thinking. Glasses frame your style. Get free in-home try-on and free prescription lenses only at glasses.com. Back here at the USBC Training Center, Arlington, Texas. Already, Danielle McCune has knocked off the top seed, Liz Johnson, 278, 224. Now it's Kulik and Stephanie Johnson head-to-head. -head. Stephanie joined by Kathy. Stephanie, this is your fourth show, your first swing on the PWBA Tour, and yet tonight you were seated because of your great performance. You are also the only lady to make all nine match play finals. Did that exceed your expectations? Absolutely. You know, I think we all have high standards of ourselves, but it exceeded my expectations, and uh, I'm here to win. For Levi? Yes, absolutely. Good luck. Thank you. Young son is in the house here, Kat, maybe in the back room, so <laughs> too much noise made with Dad, but it's great to have him here. Let's take a look at the GoBowling.com road to the finals. An impressive first match for McEwen. That's unbelievable. I'm telling you that 7-8 and eight was able to play so much better for the girls, and if you could stay further right and just ball up or ball down, depending on what you were looking for, the scores were pretty darn good. Second in points, rookie of the year, Champ in Wichita on the women's tour, Stephanie Johnson. Starts her day in the semifinals. Two pin. No shock that Stephanie's trying to play further right. Another great outside player. Once again, same shot though. Got it a little bit further right than she intended to. On that lane seven, it does hook a little bit more and breaks down a little bit quicker than lane eight. So that almost like you want to call it your gutter should be the five six area. Second pin conversion. We'll keep a close eye on this oil pattern, how things break down and the players approach the path to the pocket. Now it's Kelly Kulik from Union, New Jersey. Told us pre-match, a lot of pressure on her last week. She battled with Linda Barnes for the fifth and final spot in the U.S. Open TV field. And she was just exhausted by show day, she said. Mentally and physically kind of worn down. Glad to make the show. Today, she's here to win. Great Good start. Job. It's like to do that, baby. 60 feet to success for Kelly Kulik, blasting 10 down into the pit. Great shot by Kelly. Talked to her before, the great five step, but look how smooth she is into that push. High backswing, but look at her power step before she gets down. And right here, you will not see any pull down off of Kelly Kulik. She is smooth as silk into the lane. And here's gonna be the key for Kelly. She's gonna be a little bit further left, but still getting it out. Do you see that? To that six, seven board with a little bit of a stronger ball. She is going to be further left than these girls, but still playing them similar. Wow, great start. 
Finds that pocket perfectly. A little different path to the pocket, though, on each lane. It's always so interesting to watch how the players approach the differences between the TV players. And this is a great match to watch to see that, because with Kelly being just a little bit further left, something we keyed on last week, doesn't matter how you throw the ball. You can still use that same break point. It's just how you get to that break point through your game to make yourself successful. Comes in high. And a really tough split here. Six, Ste seven, ten. Sorry about that, Dave. Stephanie, once again, that's one of those shots that Liz, she got a little more right to left. So what I mean by that is starting it way in front of her, but missed left. There is no hold buildup on this pattern because of it being a little bit flatter. Not only that, you notice nobody's playing in. So there's no oil being pushed around in that area. She's going to have to make the adjustment like Liz with ball speed. Tough to cover. Cross lane almost got the seven, but it is an open for Stephanie Johnson. And on the bench, early edged Kelly Keel. Almost gets that ball to the right of that six pin and sliding it over into that seven, but just goes slightly behind it. Dave, this is something we talked about. Now, Stephanie did not bowl any matches. Liz Johnson did not bowl any matches. And I do think, I don't think they would admit it, but I do think not knowing how the lanes played and transitioned has a little bit of a, a fact as to the moves you make on the pair. Looks for the high flush strike and leaves the nine. And Liz and Stephanie both told us before the show today they felt mentally ready, of course, sharp. They had practiced, they had done some commentary, extra frame, but still not competing. All those best of five match play that can affect how you approach show day. Absolutely, Kelly even said it. I talked to her yesterday. She said my moves were a little bit quicker by that second match than they were in the first match. And you only have 10 frames. So if you fall a frame behind, it could cost you. That's nine. And let's face it, practice, mental preparation is not the same as competing. No, it's not. Uh, you know, being mentally tough is gonna get you through those tough matches. Absolutely, I, I cannot agree with you know, what everybody says about that more. But actually throwing the shots on the pair and watching how your opponent breaks them down, what balls rolled good, what they did on the lane, it is gonna give you that one or two frames ahead and could, you know, make the difference in winning the match. Uphill. Two pin up, try to avoid the double wood there. Did that, a little off the mark, looking for the pocket. That shot was almost just like Danielle McEwen's, got it way right outside of her target, but she barely hits the head pin, gets the break, and just leaves the two pin. So once again, that shows you that she's in that right part of the lane where when she misses just a little bit right, that ball is still trying to get to the head pin. Oh. Riffs on it and misses the two. Stuck on the approach, we heard the reaction. As soon as she let this one go, you heard it. Pulled right up. I mean, you could see her whole body move right up. She sticks on the approach right there. She paid the penalty, missed it to the right. So Johnson opened the door with an open frame, and Kelly returns the favor with her own open. After that, striking the first two frames. You you rarely see that out of Kelly Kulik. So the, the sticking on approach obviously had something to do with it, but all of these girls, excellent spare shooters. How she responds here is the question. Pretty well. <laughs> One three pocket. And all ten back into the pit. Strikes on three of the first four frames for Kelly Kulik. She only struck three times total in the loss to Jasmine Tan. Opening play last week at the U.S. Open in New Jersey. Only rolled a 190. Jazzy had 195 to 190 in that shot. Four pin. On a good shot. 
So we talked about Liz Johnson hoping for player of the year. How about as we see this first here? She actually made the move on the lane. It looks like she's made just a little bit of a parallel move. Stephanie likes to keep the ball way in front of her. Four pin, great shot, great adjustment. They will not try to move off of that area too much. Like I said, they'll do with ball speed or they'll just change balls to keep them in that area. Single pin, spare conversion for Stephanie Johnson. Trying for player of the year. Match play appearances, the only player on tour to do that for all of the tour events this year. Did win in Wichita, and a runner-up finish as well at the Lubbock Sports Open in Texas. She's a hometown hero, like herself. Dallas Metroplex, got to feel good to be so close to home. Had a barbecue last night yeah. with family and friends. It's always nice to bowl in front of the hometown crowd. He's got a chance. Wow, way off. On a light hit, leaves the head pin. The one, two, eight stands. Not a good shot for Johnson. She did not like this shot off her hand. She missed way right. You'll see right here. See how it went left to right, got way out here, and that is not where they're trying to play. You're going to see how it's going to try to get there. Hits the three pin right in the face, but she gets the break. Gets the 10 out of there. Makeable spare. Three. Got three. Covers nicely. Gets her mark at the midway point. Now that's one of those shots you could say from bowling in the matches. Kelly and Daniel know they have that little bit of area to the right on the right lane. Stephanie may not see that yet because she hasn't experienced a couple of matches to see what that ball would do missing right and missing left. Wow. Flush, hit, strike for Kelly Hewlett, forever etched in the minds of women's bowling everywhere. Her victory over Chris Barnes, the 2010 PBA TOC in Las Vegas, unforgettable, making history. The break of the four pin there, Chris Barnes, 10 pin, Kelly Kulik stepped up and wrapped it up and had a TLC championship. And Chris Johnson, uh, Chris Johnson, listen to me, Chris Barnes, arguably one of the best ever put on a pair of bowling shoes. So that's Without a question. pretty darn awesome victory. Also from here in the Dallas area. Back to back jacks for Kelly Kulik. She's found her look after struggling earlier in this semifinal match. Danielle McEwen awaits the winner. Johnson, Kulik, head to head, the semifinals from Arlington. Only one can make the title tilt. For competitors of all ages, bowling is for life. And USBC is with you every step of the way. USBC and you, a future for the sport. Verizon now has one simple plan. Just pick a size, small, medium, large, and extra large. If you need less data, pick small. If you need more, go with extra large. A whopping 12 gigs for $80 a month plus $20 per phone. Pick a size and change it up anytime. It's the simple way to get the best network. And now, get up to $400 when you switch. Only at Verizon. King. Czar. Or Sultan. The choice is yours. Rise to power and watch your empire grow. Lead your nation in a massive war against thousands of players online. Strategically launch your armies to banish rivals from the land. Then conquer the world through the art of war. March of Empires. Download now. 
I'm really into this car, but how do I know if I'm getting a good deal? TrueCar knows exactly how much people have been paying for the car I want. I tell TrueCar my zip and what car I'm into, and it shows me the TrueCar curve. This shows the range of prices people in my area actually paid for the same car. Looks like these folks paid a little more than everyone else. And this guy got the deal of a lifetime. This is how car buying was always meant to be. This is true car. Savvy moms everywhere are shopping Zulily.com, the leading daily deal site for moms, babies, and kids. Anyone that has children needs to shop on Zulily. I've saved between 50 and 70% almost every time I've shopped. You will find things that nobody else will have. At Zulily, we search far and wide to bring you deals you won't find anywhere else. But quantities are limited, so sign up today and find something you love. Zulily.com, a big selection of styles for a small window of time. After I played FanDuel the first time, I was hooked. People are going crazy for these one-week fantasy football leagues at FanDuel.com. With FanDuel, there's no season-long commitment. FanDuel lets you play in one-week fantasy football leagues for real money. Assembling the ideal team on FanDuel was a blast. Try FanDuel today, and we'll match your first deposit up to 200 bucks. On FanDuel, I've won over $62,000. Go to FanDuel.com, click on the microphone to get a bonus of up to 200 bucks. Enter promo code CRUSHED4. That's promo code CRUSHED4. Five strikes, looking for a four-bagger in her seventh frame. Kelly Kulik in great shape, head-to-head -head with Stephanie Johnson on this 37-foot pattern. So yes, how the ball is approaching the lane to it. And I'm going to master this. The ladies do not want to get the ball outside of that 6-7 board down lane. Kelly, even though Kelly is laying it down a little bit further left than Stephanie, Stephanie is definitely further right than Kelly. They don't want to get it outside of five because there's a little bit of hang down the lane. Now, if you're soft with it, the ball is trying to get up there, but it's not very forgiving. So they're almost using that 5-6 board as the gutter. They don't want to get it right of that board down lane. Johnson needs a big rally. Maybe it starts here. Yes, it does. Crunching 10 down into the pit, a perfect one free pocket hit. I was just told by Rob Gottschall, the rep for Ebernite, that Stephanie made a ball change. She went to a little bit of a weaker ball with surface so that she could move a little bit further right, be a little bit more direct. And with that surface on the ball, it's going to still read that middle part of the lane that like we're talking about, gets to that spot and still reads it to get to the head pin. 11-year member of Team USA, four years junior Team USA. Great experience. Wants a major here today. That's a look. Back to back, big strikes for Johnson to stay in the match. Those two shots right there are a great example of how I talked about this pattern. These girls are going to try to stay as far right as possible. So what did she do? She chose to go weaker with surface, move a little bit right so she could still keep that ball right in front of her, which is her comfort zone. Seventh frame for Kelly goes for the four-backer. Has it. And I know I key in on this all the time, but you know how I am about the old TV break, you know, with the commercial break. Great shots by the girls coming out, and I think that's such a, an asset to them. Another great shot by Kelly, gets it out to about eight. High flush, she's got that little bit. She, once again, she uses it a stronger ball with less surface, but because of how she's attacking the lanes, she actually is creating herself a little bit of hold where she doesn't have to get it so far right. Looking to stay hot. Strive for five. Push. That comes in high and a baby split. With a 310 for Kelly Kulik. Misfires that time. Kelly misses way left here. Didn't even get the ball. It didn't project right off her hand at all. Almost goes Brooklyn. Gets a break, but leaves the 310. Nicely, big spare pickup for Kelly Kulik. 
in the clutch. This is picture perfect. She uses her spare ball, hits to the right of that three pin, and it takes out the 10. Shot for Johnson. Kathy is joined by Diana Zabulova of Latvia. Diana, one of our overly accomplished international players, came over to the United States to join the PWBA and won one of our events. How is it bowling over here in our country? Uh, it's awesome. I mean, the competition is unbelievable. So I love bowling against the best women in the world and being one of them. Is it a great opportunity for you to be here? Yes, absolutely. And you'll come back? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Kat, thanks. We look forward to seeing much more of Diana on tour. Beat Rocio Rostrepo at the Minnesota Open. Speaking of international stars, she's from Colombia. 216-208 to win that title. Johnson needs it. Has it. Keeping things interesting late in the match. Very interesting shot by Stephanie. Let's watch this. Pulls up on it just a little bit. She wasn't sure, but once again, kept her angles really straight in front of her. Yes, missed a little left, but her ball speed allowed that ball to lay off in the right spot. Big strike foundation frame and a four bagger to cut it to a 13 pin lead for Kulik. Her ninth works on a spare. Wow, flush strike. Kelly Kulik blitzes the pins. For everybody that's at home watching, if you can hear Kelly, she's breathing a lot. That's key for Kelly. And talking with her, one of, one of her factors is I just want to keep myself calm, and I keep myself calm by breathing to make sure, you know, it relaxes your shoulders, really. And what's the key here? Your swing. Trying to relax, trying to stay focused. Comes in high. Three six up. We saw him over the definitely hooks more. The final. You heard Kelly say it. This lane definitely hooks more. It hooked more in the matches also, but again, like her other shot on this lane, she never got that ball to the right at all off her hand. No hold built up unless you're further right. Kelly is further left than Stephanie. So being left with Liz playing there and Danielle, Stephanie's got a little bit of hold right to left. Kelly does not. Got to cover this. Does. 3 6 down. Has a spare, but not striking there so late in the match is crucial. And it tightens things up even more. <laughs> Stephanie Johnson's going to have a chance. And she steps up in the 10. Major championship, player of the year for Stephanie. Oh, yeah. There's a lot at stake here. Needed a double and four to win. Seven pin. That's what she needs. Stephanie has struck every time since she changed balls. So remember we were saying they're going to stay in that same area and make that ball change. Got to have this. Lay here on the center. There's one. Got set to a two-pin deficit. One more strike and three, and she'll make the championship. Watch Stephanie right here. See how far right she does walk to the left a little bit, but still keeps that ball right in front of her and gets the light mixer. 
What a fantastic ball change by Stephanie Nation. Can never count anyone out. Johnson used to be Nation. <laughs> Married name. By the way, fantastic bowler. That's what she needs. Kelly can't watch on the bench. Gotta have it. You yeah. bet. 60 feet to success. Good show, good show. For Stephanie Johnson Warshot to take the lead. Great shot by Stephanie. A little bit further left than that first shot in the 10th, but once again, we say with that ball speed, she keeps it right in front of her. High flush. She's got great reaction. She's got that little bit to the right and that little bit to the left. She will continue to just keep that ball in front of her, increase her ball speed to allow her to play that line. Just needs three pins. She's got a victory over Kelly Kulik. And Stephanie Johnson from Grand Prairie, Texas, only 15 minutes from here in Arlington, will take on Danielle McEwen for the championship today here at the USBC National Training Center. Had a big deficit to come back from against the great Kelly Kulik and did it for a victory. Now she's in the finals. The countdown to eight seconds is on. Buckle up for the PBR tonight at six on CBS Sports Network. Searching for a great used car? Start your search with the millions of used cars for sale at the new Carfax.com. Just say, show me cars with only one owner. Pretty cool. Plus, you get a free Carfax report with every car for sale. Start your used car search at Carfax.com. Glasses frame your style. Get free in-home try-on and free prescription lenses only at Glasses.com. They're going to try a field goal. 57 yards. No, returned by Chris Davis. Davis goes left. Davis gets a block. Our food. Our fresh air. Our forests. Our playground. Our water. Together, our hands can save it. Connect your hands with ours, and we can save our land, our water, our future. Join us at nature.org. The Nature Conservancy. Protecting nature, preserving life. Turn of the PWBA Tour. Green Bay, it started with the Queens, won by Liz Johnson to Sacramento, Lincoln, Nebraska, Topeka, Wichita. They went one by Stephanie Johnson, the Rookie of the Year on Tour, Lubbock, Texas. 
New Brunswick, of course, last year, last week for the U.S. Open, and then Arlington today for our final event of the season. The Tour Championship. Stephanie Johnson, six strikes from the sixth on to knock off Kelly Kulik. 231 to 224. Bowlers competing for this trophy, $20,000. First place prize, a major championship for Stephanie Johnson, the possibility of player of the year. In addition to rookie of the year, if she wins it, she'll clinch it. If she doesn't, probably Liz Johnson is player of the year. Danielle McEwen, only 24 years old, has never won a professional title. Maybe that happens today. We'll find out. This is what it looks like when real people playing fantasy football win $1 million. And now that football is back at DraftKings.com, the one-week fantasy sports destination, you could get your share of $10 million week one. Just pick your sport, pick your players, and pick up your cash. Play with promo code FOOTBALL and get free entry in our Millionaire Maker event week one. Winner gets $2 million. Get to DraftKings.com now. You can do quite a lot of things with books and CDs. But to actually learn a language, you can do better with Babbel. Learning a language with Babbel is intuitive. It's interactive. It's customized to your pace. Download the app or go to Babbel.com right now and start learning today. Learning languages? Babbel. Tommy Copper has designed comfortable copper and zinc-infused compression gear that redefines muscle recovery and soreness relief for young and old. It's not a matter of if you get hurt, it's a matter of when and how bad. I've seen every kind of different injury there is. When I'm done riding bucking horses, my day job begins. Every little positive increment you can get to make your body feel better counts. Because of my sport, because it's so brutal, I wear compression all the time. I really consider a Tommy Copper knee sleeve my security blanket. Compression is a great way to relieve those everyday aches and pains. From top athletes looking for another notch on their belt, to everyday folks that can't call in sick with a sore knee, shoulder, wrist, foot, or elbow. It doesn't matter if my feet ache. I need to show up every day. No excuses. That's how you stay on top. That's how you become a champion. That's how you put your name in record books. Tommy Copper's original 24-hour compression is designed to help harness the body's natural recovery. You got to go to TommyCopper.com to get it. Hello! Not getting enough oomph out of your energy drink? Then try an extra strength five-hour energy shot. Its beefed up blend of vitamins, nutrients, and caffeine make it the very definition of extra strength. Plus, every great flavor has zero sugar and four calories. So, for an energy shot that really pulls its own weight, switch to extra strength five hour energy. Oh, could you go left up here? I need to pick up my dry cleaning. Let's take a look at the GoBowen.com road to the finals. McEwen beat Liz Johnson, the legend, 278-224. And Stephanie Johnson, a late rally over Kelly Kulik, six-time major champion, by seven pins. Great to see John Harbuck, strike 10 entertainment president here in Arlington at the USBC National Training Center. My first time in this great center. You live in the Metroplex. You're here a lot. Though. Oh, I'm yes. I'm really impressed with the facilities here. Absolutely. Actually, my, I want to say my last TV show was, I made it here at the Queens. I did not know that. So, yeah. Did you win? I didn't. I finished second, but oh, thanks no. for bringing that up. But anyway. <laughs> you brought it up. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but the great <laughs> facility, because we're Team USA members, we're past Team USA members, you can come practice here. So, it's awesome. Sure is. Johnson gets us started. Ten pin. Nudged but stays up. Great start by Stephanie, leaving a flat 10, still hitting the 1-3. One, one thing that I've seen out of the girls, even when the lanes were tough, you know, keeping that ball in the 1-3 pocket, making the spare, that's what was really crucial the last few, few weeks. Now, of course, today, we've seen some more strikes, which is nice, um, but still, same philosophy. Pit. Single pin, fair conversion for Stephanie Johnson, the two seed from Grand Prairie, Texas. Back to McEwen, she's had a break after winning over Liz Johnson in such impressive fashion. 
279, 224. It's a great story Danielle told us last week at the US Open about how she found out that the PWBA Tour was coming back. Look out, 7-10. Yikes. Not quite how you want to start your match, but it was a, a I thought it was a great shot off her hand. She's moved a couple boards left of where she was playing that first match. Ball comes in light. Doesn't get the break and kicking out a seven, the seven or the 10. But it really was not a bad shot off her hand. Take the 10 and open frame, but it is early. Danielle told her she was practicing and checking her cell phone, and that's when she learned about the news. We're here at the Smithfield PWBA Tour Championship at the Training and Research Center in Arlington. Great to have you with us, Dave, Carolyn, and Kathy. On board for the final event of this Tour Championship season. It's a major, so much at stake. She said she learned about it on Facebook, and she liked it, and she shared it. And Facebook blew up. Nice hit there. All ten into the pit for a young bowler like that who didn't, of course, get to compete the first time the tour was around when you were so dominant, winning your 20 titles. It meant so much. Oh my God, absolutely. And that was another, another great shot by Danielle. Gets the trip four. You need a little bit break, but great recovery after that bad break in the first frame, 7-10. We'll see how she can capitalize on it. Stephanie told us she learned about the resurgence, the return of the tour on Twitter. And she was so emotional. A chance to compete again professionally. Great shot. The Men's US Open is back. It's on CBS Sports Network. The PBA's best compete in one of the major events on tour. Be sure to join us Sunday, November 8th, 1 Eastern from the AMF Garland Lanes for the Baltimore AMF US Open. Sean Rash, Tommy Jones, the best in the business on the men's side. And of course, PDW, Pete Weber, the Hall of Famer himself. Past champ since 2000. Pete's got three. Norm Duke from just outside Orlando got a couple. Johnson, wow, that just did not read properly. Way right of target. And the one two up, that almost went into the channel. We're going to look at this, and I'm going to way over here. She gets it way, way out there to that one two board. And once again, that shows you it's that left to right. Stephanie's more right to left. And Ball just never had time to recover. Does cover. After the miss on her first attempt. McEwen has had a great look all day. What do you think a youngster like that, only 24 years old, what does she do in between matches, knowing she's in the final? How do you get mentally prepared? Well, I talked to her a little bit uh, yesterday, and one of the things she said she was keying on was, gee, I haven't won yet. What have I done on TV that wasn't right? And she said that today and late last night, she focused on, you know what? Tomorrow's a new day. It's a new tournament. I'm going to key in on the fact that I am mentally ready. I have been aggressive and I just have to go through the process. And I, I looked at her and I went, really? I mean, I'd be a nervous wreck, but she did. She dwelled on it just a little bit, but turned it right around last night and this morning and said, you know what? It's all about today. And so far it has been. 10 strikes in the first match over the top seed, Liz Johnson. Topeka open, runner up, her best finish thus far. That could all change the day. Fourth frame, not a perfect shot. Crunching into the one through pocket again for the two in each lane. She is locked in, has got a great look. Smooth off her hand. Look at that foundation, that solid foundation at the foul line. Great reaction. For now, she's bowling like the seasoned veteran. Kulik and Liz Johnson already eliminated. A couple legends. 
I'm learning from them. They inspire, really? yeah, they inspire me. They really do. Fourth frame for Johnson. You bet. Perfect shot. Even though this is the last stop on the PWBA Tour, the regional program still in progress. September 27th, the Southwest region is at Stommel, Texas. The Midwest is at Liberty Lanes in Carpentersville, Illinois. The following week from October 2nd through the 4th, the East region has a tournament in Cornell, New York, upstate. For more information on the PWBA regional events, please log on to pba.com for more. And did you hear what she said at the foul line? Online, right? What are we talking about? If she keeps that ball right in front of her, and you can see this ball right, that is straight, straight towards her target. And that is her best look. It's when she goes left to right, that ball just doesn't read the pattern. Midway point. Gets help on the 10. It's a big strike for McEwen. That one right there is a payback for that 7-10 in the first frame. Look at this. She thinks she leaves the 10 pin, and then we get, whoop, tapper. We'll take, take it. it. Oh, Absolutely. will she ever. Now 9-pin lead can expand to 19 here. Looks for the five-bagger in a tight match. Can you believe this? Two seven tens? Well, I just show you the tap she gets. Payback for the seven ten, and, mm. and here we go. Great shot, right on target. That is just simply a bad break. And whiffs on the 10, so cost her in pin count. Two opens, two 7-10s for the youngster. And on the bench, Johnson takes a seven pin lead, trying for a major championship. Technicians needed. If you're good with your hands and looking for a great career, get started here. Universal Technical Institute, UTI gives you real world hands-on training. It was just a dream for me. Within 18 months, it was a reality. It gave me a foot in the door that most people don't have. UTI partners with the world's top manufacturers who need our professionally trained techs working in their shops. It's the next level of technician. They are the best of the best. Your new career starts your first day at UTI. Call now. Glasses frame your style. Get free in-home try-on and free prescription lenses only at Glasses.com. Lay the foundations with the help of the gods of a powerful empire. Plan your strategy, forge alliances, and fight in epic battles, and become ruler of Grepolis. Play now for free at Grepolis.tv or download the app. How'd the house hunting go this weekend? Love the houses. I'm worried about the mortgage rate. You should see my car loan. <sighs> Guys, just go to LendingTree.com and shop for any loan. If you like saving money. I like saving money. Yeah, me too. Are you sure you guys don't need oxygen masks or something? See you at the top. You're the lending tree. At Lending Tree, shop and compare loan offers from top lenders, and in just five minutes, you could save thousands. Lending Tree, the place to shop for money. Don't be a hero. <laughs> Savvy moms everywhere are shopping Zulily.com, a leading daily deal site for moms, babies, and kids, offering up to 70% off great brands. Zulily is the best deal going. Cannot wait to get on and see what's new. Zulily's deals are unbelievable, but they're only available for a limited time. If you don't buy it when you see it, you might miss out. Get a head start on back to school shopping at Zulily.com, a big selection of styles for a small window of time. After 10 years of providing top-notch customer service and quality products, we're still rated number one by the Wall Street Journal for do-it-yourself paint chip repairs. Our signature dab, smear, and blend process 
allows you to make professional permanent repairs on your car. And now our squirt and squeegee method makes it even easier to fix the most heavily chipped vehicles. Simply squirt a little paint on the panel, squeegee it smooth over the chips, then blend as usual. Go to drcolorchip.com. That's drcolorchip.com. Well, there you can see it, key of the match. Danielle McEwen facing 7-10 on the first and six frames. And only eight pins down on the last 7-10 conversion attempt. Now, can Johnson take advantage and close the door on the youngster? Well, you know, that's one of those things. The 7-10s, you could check the racks. It could be a little off. And sometimes, you know, you just don't pay attention as, as much as you should because you're in the, you know, heat of the battle. Just go up 17. Earlier today, Carolyn presenting Stephanie Johnson with Rookie of the Year Award. One trophy already for Stephanie. She'd like another one, a $20,000 check, and maybe Player of the Year, too. So this could be quite a day for the Johnson family with some big prize money and hardware for the trophy case. She's going to need a bigger trophy case. I tell you. She takes it all home today. Could be. That's what's at stake. Off the turkey, looks for the four-bagger. Expands the lead, almost had another 7-10. Just the seven standing here for Stephanie. I'm telling you, those shots look great on that left lane, and that's what I'm saying. Sometimes it could just be so, ever so slightly that, you know, these machines, they, they, they put these pins down, you know, shot after shot after shot after shot. If it's off just a little bit, yeah. it can leave that seven, that 10. There's a seven, covers. Throw the shots, throw the shots. Both ladies though, really executing to the best of their ability. I mean, they really are. They are throwing some really great shots, keeping it in the one three, and hoping the ball carries. Saw the percentage. Seven pin this time for McEwen. Still anyone's match. Could go right down to the last shot here today with so much on the line for Johnson. I mean, imagine what she could take home. And here's what would be going through your head on the next shot. After she converts the spare, you have three frames left. So you've gone light. Do I move? Do I just slow up? Do I get around it more? I mean, do you make a subtle move or do you make a dramatic move? I mean, we saw Kelly Kulik grab another ball last week in the 10th frame at the U.S. Open. That was dramatic. That was a dramatic move. What would you do? Me? I would probably try to get my ball to read a little sooner, move my eyes a little closer to me, and just make sure I'm really firm through it. up and knocks the ball down. Big strike in the eighth. USBC provides numerous programs and services for bowlers in its efforts to build a future for the sport, including competitive leagues and tournaments for all ages, youth and collegiate bowling, as well as bowling instructional videos, coaching certification programs, and social interaction and event coverage. Visit bowl.com for more. Here at the home of the USBC. Arlington, Texas. Johnson in the eighth. Comes in high. Three six up. The spare to come. Stephanie looked like she got around this ball just a little bit more. See the axis rotation off her hand. Definitely got around that one a little bit more than she had been. Leaves the 3-6, actually 3-6 better than 
Stephanie's much more behind the ball, kind of lets it roll off her hand and then slightly gets around it. That one just a little bit too much. Two. Does get two, does cover. And that was a disaster oh, Fulton Crane. And his husband, Chris Johnson. Just a good foundation for him. Watching closely. A key factor for Stephanie in talking with her today is I want to stay present and in the moment, and I'm going to take my time. She said, if I do that, I feel like I can execute to the best of my ability. And she's definitely done that today. She's balled so well. Yeah, good setup, good setup. Exactly what you wanted in the foundation ninth frame. Now the youngster steps back up here. Stephanie has come such a long way in the last three to five years. I bowled Team USA with her starting in 2008. She won the singles championship. I'll never forget it at the, at the Women's World. And then just worked on her game and has become an absolutely seasoned bowler. Nice frame. Needed that for a four pin deficit. And does it. This is close. Again, gets this ball just a little bit right, but because of the angle, she gets to blow that seven pin right off the deck. And what I mean by angle is, even when Danielle and Stephanie get it a little bit right in the heads, it's still more straight than a Kelly Kulik. So they're able to bounce it off that spot down lane because they're so soft with their hand. Carry. It did carry. Three on a row. Back to back to back, Jax. Now into the tenth. Up in the match. But Johnson on the bench will have her chance. It takes everything I have not to leave this booth right now, run over to my daughter who's watching on the side and say, these two ladies right here, this is what you should aspire to be. It's a great message. Don't do that yet. After the match. I will. We need you. Perfect shot again. So clutch to McEwen. Bangs the lead. Now we'll try to fill out here one more, put even more pressure on Johnson. My hands, again, ice cold and sweating. And if, if, if the expiring young high school and collegiate bowlers aren't sitting watching this match and saying to themselves, that is what I want to be, and take the tips of the breathing and executing shots, it, this is just an Another. phenomenal finish. Was it ever for Danielle McEwen? 233. So now it's Stephanie Johnson needs a double. And seven to win. Smithfield, moment of the match. The big strike a moment ago for McEwen. Setting up Johnson, setting up our fantastic That's finish. That's what she needs. Got to have a strike here. And you heard what she said. This is what you prepared for. It's a must have. She won't get it. 7 10. Unbelievable, unbelievable bowling by these two ladies. You can see the tears in Danielle's eyes for one reason. Stephanie Johnson, fabulous, fabulous year. There's absolutely nothing more you can say. On the bench, Danielle McEwen has won. Here in Arlington today, the PWDA Tour Championship goes to the youngster. Her first ever title. We're gonna hear from the winner. Very born, honey. For competitors of all ages, bowling is for life. And you
USB-C is with you every step of the way.